think about that, that first primary song that most of us learned, I am a child of God, and, and then to just think of the weight of that truth that, that within all of us are those seeds of divinity. You know, that we have heavenly parents, our spirits are literally offspring from those parents, and so that divine nature is already this, this seed. I, and, and now Peter, uh, in, in this epistle, we start to see, now what do you do with that seed? How does that, it was never meant to stay a, a seed in and of itself, it, it's supposed to grow into something and to bear fruit eventually. Everything else in the gospel starts to make more sense to me if I remember the end game of all of this, right? Why the baptism and why the trials and why, why prophets and why scripture? And the end game is to take that divine nature and that seed and to let it develop into our heavenly parents, which is why we left in the first place, right? And, and I think if you can couch everything else that happens to us and everything else that we learn with that being the end goal, things start to fit in. And so I think that's where he's taking to say, okay, now that you understand some of these foundational principles, remember this divine nature, and now watch how the gospel will help that divine nature to blossom and grow into attributes and character and who you are. <laughs>